The next hominid we have to talk about is Paranthropus. Unlike the previous hominids we've talked about, Paranthropus is considered to be a separate lineage from our own. The reason for this is that they have several unique characteristics that set them apart from the other hominids. For example, they have a distinctive chewing apparatus that suggests they were adapted for grinding and chewing tough plant material. Their teeth are also larger than ours. And many of their other anatomical features indicate that they were adapted for heavy chewing in a diet rich in plants and fibrous foods. There are actually several species of Paranthropus, but the most well known are Paranthropus robustus and Paranthropus boisic. Paranthropus robustus lived in South Africa around 2 million to 1.2 million years ago. It was a biped, meaning it walked upright on two legs, but it was stockier and more ape-like than modern humans. Its arms were relatively long, and it had a sagittal crest on top of its skull, where powerful muscles for chewing were attached. Pibasay lived in eastern Africa around Vinci 3 to 1.2 million years ago. Like P. robustus, it was also a bite, but it had a larger brain and more prominent brow ridges than P. robustus. But unlike P. robustus, it didn't have a sagittal crest. Both species of Paranthropus went extinct around 1.2 million years ago. But interestingly, some scientists hypothesize that the extinction of Paranthropus was linked to the disappearance of large quantities of woody plants in Africa. If true, this would suggest that changes in the environment played a significant role in their extinction.